In this video, I'll show you how to use camera tracking in CapCut. What is camera tracking? It's very simple. The camera just focuses on different parts of your body, like your hand, your nose, or even your head. It's very simple. So this way, when you move around, the camera follows you smoothly. Also, I'll talk about how to use AI to add amazing movements to your video. And without wasting your time, let's just get straight into it. This video will be a very interesting one. I'll show you different categories of camera tracking like the AI one, the real one, just stay tuned to the end of this video and you'll be amazed by the magic we would have done. So very simple. You click on your video like this and you just scroll as usual until you get to camera tracking. And this is what we're looking for here. You click on camera tracking. We have AI movement and we have camera tracking. But first, I'll stick to camera tracking. Then afterwards, I'll actually show you AI movement. They are both amazing. So let's just click on camera tracking. As you can see, we have different category. The face the body, the hand, and custom. Custom basically just means you can like select whatever you want the camera to track. So for the face now, it's saying in this video, it cannot recognize the human face. But let's see for body, you can see it can actually recognize the human body. So yeah, this one can actually recognize the body. So just start with body. Or you can even go to a separate video, and you can see, let's let's move to a separate video and see if, we, if, if, if it's to recognize the face with this one. Camera tracking face, you can see here, the face has actually been recognized and all you just need to do is just click on track and it tracks and the movement start. Let's move here. You can recognize the face with this one. You could recognize face also. Yeah, you can also recognize face with this, I'm very sure. Yeah, no face also, yeah. So let's just play with face at first. Let's just start with this one. I'll click on camera tracking. I'm just to, yeah, click on track face. We just wait for it to load and yeah, you can see the movement. That's completed. So one thing that happens when you track is because the camera is not following the specific subject, which is the human head, things might move out of frame. You can see now this part of the um, canvas is blurry. So you can see, you can click on fits to frame. Yeah, and everything fits to frame. Or you can just choose block canvas or keep it black, but block canvas works a lot of times. But yeah, fits to frame is perfect. So you can see a lot of keyframes on the video. So now when we play the video, now we have this. This is all we have when we play the video. You can see, focused on his head. So that's it for us working with um the face, because the face is actually obvious here. So now let's move here to body. You can see, very simple video, nothing special. But now, we come to tracking. Let's just move your camera tracking. Now we track the body. You can also track hands. Yeah, track body. The same thing, click on track. Wait for it to load. It doesn't take so much time. It's actually like playing keyframes now. As you can see in the background, things are actually going out of frame already. So yeah, it's so, so interesting. It just gives your video this amazing effect. The same thing, things are out of frame. Click on fits to frame. And you can see, by the time we play the video now, don't worry guys, I'll show you the before and after of each video I'm working on. Click on play. And see, you can see how it's following the body. You can see how it's following the body. So this is for body. Why this is for head? Yeah, so we are tracking the human head here. So one final thing that I actually want to do before I, before we go to other ones, let me come back to camera tracking because I want to be quick with this because there are so many interesting things to talk about. So back to camera tracking again, you can just adjust it. You can see right here. Yeah, that's the adjustment we had. You can see keep face size. You can see it zoomed in a little, a little bit more, or just you know yeah. We don't we don't mind the size changing of the face. Also, you can like retract or just remove it. So for this one, I'm going to duplicate this video. Yeah, duplicate right here. I'll duplicate this video. So we have two of this. So in this second one right here, I'm going to remove the tracking because now I actually want to track the human hand and see how interesting that one is. Camera tracking, remove. Yeah, remove camera tracking. Good. You can see the difference in size. We're tracking the head here. This is just a default video. Now, I actually want to track the hand. You can see, you can actually recognize the hand. I click on track. I'll just wait for it to actually just track the human hand. We're waiting. Yeah, and it's done. The same thing, fits the canvas. And now we can just play it. You can see, it's actually, it was actually tracking the hand down here. So sometimes the AI might not pick the thing you actually wanted to track. And that's actually now where we come to custom tracking. Let me duplicate this video one more time. Or just, you know what? You've actually, you actually got the gist anyway. Let me just remove tracking. 
And now, I'm going to come to camera tracking and I'll click on custom. I want to track this hand right here. This is the hand I want to track. I just apply it on this specific hand, you can see. I want to track his hand. And I just click on track. Let's see. Subject. What did you say? Track. Subject. Uh, try another one. You see? I don't know why I couldn't track the hand, but yeah. I think we just try for something else. It's surprising that I couldn't track the hand. Like it's it's pretty obvious. I don't know why it's not tracking it. I think we just try custom we'll try custom for something else. But you know what? At least you get the gist for camera tracking, anyways. It's pretty simple, very clear. We're tracking the body here. Okay, you know what? For this one, let's try custom tracking for the skateboard and see if, if we get if we get a result here. Let's just come and duplicate a bit quickly. Let's duplicate this clip we have here. Duplicate. So let's remove our default tracking that we have. So let's take camera track and remove. Yeah. So you can see how far the video is. So now let's try custom tracking with this one. I actually want this to work so you guys can see it. So you can pick what exactly you want to track. So you want to track with the skateboard. Let's try and give it enough room. You can see it up here very clear. That's so we are tracking the board. Yep, we're tracking the board. So yeah, track. Oh yeah, it's working. So you can see it's tracking. We just wait for it. And honestly, like it's it's a feature I love to use so much. Tracking complete. Yeah, let's just play it first before we move. Yeah, you can see. Tracking the board. Oh yeah, perfect. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Because you wouldn't have you wouldn't have by default. Remember, fit to canvas. Yeah. You remember by default, we only have the option for to track the head or the human face and body. We don't have like to track your leg or whatever. So like yeah. This is how amazing custom is. You can actually choose where you want to track. Yeah, that's that, that that's a fire one right there. So I think we all get the gist of like um custom tracking at this point. It's very, very simple, nothing, nothing nothing to worry about. This is the default video right here. So I can I think um yeah. So now I kept this final video for you guys. This one. So I'll use this one to actually explain um AI tracking or AI movement. Because this one is just basically you leave um CapCut AI to do whatever I think I passed it already here, yeah, to do whatever it wants to do. So you come to camera tracking and you click on AI movement. This works best for like dance videos, and that's actually why I chose it. Because this is a dance video. You can see. We have dynamic, zoom, shake, soft. It just basically applies whatever effect it deems fit to your video. That's what it does. So you can see a video of a little dance in here. Like this, this dance moves are crazy, honestly. I can't even do this. So I just click on dynamic and let's cap cut here. Just do its thing to track the movement it wants. Yeah, applying. And you can see it starts tracking. This one is different. It's not tracking like anything specific, it's just tracking a movement. So it gives that. So let's say for someone whereby you don't want to. Because in the last video, it was I think the last video was about keyframes. Yeah. And you don't want to like constantly apply keyframes. You can just use this one. So if you play the video now, you can see. You can see. We're having like this zoom in, zoom out, shake and everything to the video. And yeah, we didn't do anything. This the, the original video was just simple. If you if you go to zoom, like the name says zoom, it's just basically simple. Zoom in and zoom out. I play the video for you, you can see. So you can see there's this, this, this constant zoom in and zoom out effect. So if you're someone that creates dance, dance videos and things like that, you can allow, you can use AI movement. This is actually a bonus anyways, but yeah, because it's, it comes with this camera tracking option. So I, I decided to just explain it. Shake. Yeah, shake would definitely work well for this one. So you can see it shakes right and left. Yeah, this is just basically it shakes. Nothing extra with this one. And soft, like the name says, it's very, very calm and easy. You can see we don't we don't even have so much movement for this one. Let me go back to the beginning. Yep. Let me come back. Let's come back tracking again, so you can actually see the keyframes and everything. Yeah, movement. So you can see. You can see it's very soft. So whatever you like. The default video didn't have all this movement, but this one definitely does. So remember also you can see this um adjustment icon on it. You can just click on it, and adjust the scale. And um, yeah, however you want. It. Let's see. We come to dynamic. I can just you know what I want it to rotate a lot. I also want a lot of distance, so like, which means that motion you're seeing, it's it's it's, it's increase a lot. So yeah, so it it have a lot of shake now. It's rotate a lot, yeah. So you can see, it's a lot more than it, it used to. Then I can just even reduce it or whatever, or even like increase the scale. So it, it zooms in a, a whole lot more. So you can see now, it zooms in a whole lot more. So depending on the video you're editing, depending on how you want to make it look, 
And yeah, that's just basically it. And yeah, I have a final video I actually wanted to play around with also. Let's see if we can track. Let's try and do custom tracking. The beginning here was actually Blur. I actually want to see how AI will actually work with Blur videos. That's actually why I brought this one in. So let's see. Let's see if we can get the body here. Can you track the body? No. It can definitely, it can definitely not track the face. Let's see body. Nothing on body. Nothing on hand. So this has to be, this has to be custom tracking. So this has to be custom tracking. Yeah, this is very this is like a extreme sport. So like there's there's a whole lot of movement. That's what that's why I bought I bought this video. No, so let's just track the entire thing. Yeah, we're tracking his body. Good. So we'll click track and let's see what we get. Hopefully it works perfectly because there's a there's a whole lot of movement. And the video was actually blurred from the beginning. Oh yeah, I think he actually got it. Let's see. Oh he did. Oh nice. That's the default video. So now we just you know what? Fits the canvas, it zooms in a lot more. And yeah. You've made it this far, so don't just stop here. Continue with this playlist and learn as much as possible about CatCut or check out all our interesting videos on this channel. And I'll see you in the next one.